people from the shore were running into it. And the Lord said, you have seen well, because you will only be safe if you are in me. The boat, the ark is me. Only in me, close to me, you will be safe. The water, the enemy cannot come near you. You will not sink in the troubles because you are in me. Only in my closeness, you will be safe. I will carry you through deep troubles and you will not sink in the water. You will not be pulled down into despair and no troubles will aff affect you. If you are in me, you must be in the ark where I can protect you. I am the ark. Only I can provide. Hello, Cloud9 family, and welcome back. I am so happy to be back with you again here on the channel, and I truly hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed week in the Lord. Thank you for clicking on this video today so we can watch together many of the powerful dreams and visions that are being emailed into the channel, and so many are so powerful, so intense, so vivid, and have a lot of encouragement as well. In this video today, we're going to be looking at a warning dream that was given to our dear sister in Christ, Christine. And she titles this video, It's Time to Enter into the Ark and to Be Ready. I am really looking forward to seeing what she has seen. So brothers and sisters, let's now take a look and see what our sister in Christ has seen in her experience. So before I get into uh, the vision and, and this revelation, let me first share with you the word of God in Matthew 24, 37 related to this. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of the man, of man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. So let me share this vision with you that I received back uh, in October 2023. So while I was praying, the Lord asked me, what do you see, Christine? And right away in a vision, I saw water and the big boat on the water. I saw the ark with a door on the side. People from the shore were running into it. And the Lord said, you have seen well, because you will only be safe if you are in me, the boat, the ark is me. Only in me, close to me, you will be safe. The water, the enemy cannot come near you. You will not sink in the troubles because you are in me. Only in my closeness, you will be safe. I will carry you through deep troubles and you will not sink in the water. You will not be pulled down into despair and no troubles will aff affect you. If you are in me, you must be in the ark where I can protect you. I am the ark. Only I can provide your safety. Outside of the ark, there is no protection. I want my children to be in the ark, to be protected by me. I cannot help you if you're not in me. Make sure you're close. Make sure you're in me. Live every day like it is your last day because my return is imminent. Never mind the troubles around you. 
you are in the ark. No matter how big the waves are, you will not sink. I will protect you because you are in me. I will surround you. The walls of the ark will protect you. No water will leak through. This ark will hold the heaviest weight. It will hold many. No one will be lost in the ark. You must be in me. Also know that the door will be closed. I see people waving from the shore. They want to get on the boat, the ark, but they can't. It is no longer an option. These are believers who missed the boat. They did not listen to the warning. They are now on their own. My protection does not apply to them. They must face the consequences of their ignorance. You don't see the rain yet, but when it starts to rain, it will be too late to prepare. When it starts to rain, the door of the ark will be closed. This is for the safety of those who are already in the ark. This is not negotiable. Look at the clouds. Look when it's overcast. You know the rain is coming. Do you not see the signs of my coming? When you see the clouds, when it's overcast, you go into your house. When you see the signs of my coming, what do you do? Do not ignore the signs of my coming. It might be overcast for a while before it rains, but it will rain. The rain will come down hard. The rain will not stop and the water will rise. This indicates troubles and increasing troubles that will overtake you unless you are in me, in the ark, close to me, under my protection. This is the place in my closeness where I can protect you. My Holy Spirit does not operate outside of the ark. Woe to those who are outside of the ark who did not make, make it into the ark when there was still time. They will have to suffer the consequences of their ignorance. The consequences of their ignorance will be great. They will have to suffer greatly for their ignorance. I have warned you. I did not want you to suffer because you love me. I will protect you if you love me in the ark. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. Psalm 91, 14. Then the Lord asked, what else do you see about this ark, Christine? I said, I see the top of the ark opening and people from the ark lifting up. They're going up, up from, from the ark, up to heaven. People who are not in the ark are seeing this. We want to go, Lord. Take us. You are not in the ark. You did not get in on time. I warned you, but you ignored my messengers. You are now on your own. My children are sleeping. The messengers are, f are few. I'm calling my children back. Come. Come until there's still time. Wake up, you sleepers who wait with great expectations. I also see darkness coming on the ark. Darkness means the hour is late. 
the ark needs to be filled. There's an urgency. The Lord says, I need to foretell the future. The Lord asked me again, what else do you see, Christine? I said, I see dark clouds forming. I see rain coming down from the clouds, starting to rain, a rain drop. The Lord says, this is the hour. The hour is late, Christine. You have seen well. Guys, the Lord loves you so much. He doesn't care how far you went. He doesn't care. He wants you to come home. He wants you to come back to him. If you left him, this is the time. He's calling you. He's calling you. Please. He's waiting for you. Come back. Come back, doesn't matter what you have done. Doesn't matter that you left him, come back. Come back. He's always been there. He always loved you and he's waiting for you and he wants you to come back. If you're walking with the Lord, get ready, prepare, get into the ark, get into his protection. Get as close to him as possible. Your redemption is near. Bless you.